Hey beautiful, this is Alexandra, writing and speaking and offering healing to get you past anything in your way that has you forget you are a divine being. Uh, today, let's talk about pleasure. I'm offering an opening to pleasure course in November for women. And is pleasure really sacred to you? Would you consider it such? What about joy? Passion? Your passion? Your vitality? Like your juice for life? And if it is, do you spend time with it? Do you prioritize it? Prioritize it. <laughs> do you prioritize <laughs> Are you prioritizing it? I have not for a good deal of my life. I finally started getting it in my 40s and really felt like, okay, I'm doing well. I'm spending time on self-care. I'm working with this, like really loving myself and my body and taking care of it, you know? And then when I got diagnosed with breast cancer, all of my energy went into that, almost all of it. And it showed me something really profound that what I had been doing was like just a tiny scratch on the surface of what really aligning with the joy of your being is. I was not doing that. I was spending time learning to heal over the wounds where I didn't care for myself and I didn't love my body and I was ashamed of it, of it and I felt guilty about pleasure. Um, so those things had started to heal for sure. And some of them completely healed, but I had not, I was just scratching the surface and hanging out with cancer really showed me that I had to make a clear choice. Was I committed to it or not? Was I really committed to knowing that there is potentially immense joy in my being or not? Was I really committed to finding out um, the extent of my own vitality or juice or passion or not? And for the first years, I wasn't. I couldn't find that energy. I was too tired. And I know many of you are too tired. You're mumming. You're uh, being a superwoman in your career or, or you're, you know, just like pushing yourself to keep people happy or maybe take care of uh, people in your family or like be a great friend, all these things, energy into your relationship. You're supposed to be all these things and you're supposed to love yourself unconditionally, right? It's just so much to ask. It's just so much and spend and find out your, you know, spend time with your soul and find out who you are. <laughs> It's just so much to ask and we get exhausted and drained. And it seems like, how can I ever live up to all this stuff? So who has time for pleasure? I mean, who really has time or energy for that? Well, it is worth it. Even beginning to carve out bits of time and re like scratching the surface of your own being and reconnecting with the joy that you have known, the playfulness and freedom that you have lived, you know, the, the lightheartedness and uh, sensuality that's, that's in your beautiful body, but you will need to commit to it. And you would have to think of it. It can't be me thinking of it that way. It has to be you thinking of, this is a sacred part of my being. And I will be part of the solution, or the change, I guess. Um, solution is not quite the right word. I will be part of the change um, so that hopefully future generations and future um, people, particularly those, we're, I'm talking about those of us in a, in a female body, uh, most often that's who I'm uh, talking to, but um, may we be the change for the future generations of females in undoing, unlearning this 
conditioning, this stuff, this goo that's stuck to us around be more, do more, I don't know, go faster, um, and feel guilty if you can't meet everyone's needs. Uh, and feel guilty if you can't meet your own needs too. You know, there's, there's kind of that messaging, which is crap. And I don't want you to live with that. I don't want you to live like that. I don't want you to be in that sort of, uh, numbing out state to try and avoid that. That's how you feel at times. You know, there's endless ways to distract ourselves from uh, the fact that we might feel guilty at never living up. And I certainly found in all the quietness that was forced eventually at the end of the cancer journey, I certainly found that I was just so exhausted from never living up to it all. Um, so yes, pleasure is sacred to me, and it is so many different things. I think that, you know, the mind can automatically go to sexual pleasure. Oh, well, that's not, I don't know, that's not really me or that's for um, this group of people, <laughs> whatever you might hear automatically in your mind. Or maybe you're like, yeah, I've never really had that or what would that be? Or I can't think about that. You know, there's lots of ideas, thoughts that you might have when you hear the word pleasure. But to me, it's so many different things. And what is sensuality? It is so many different things. It's anything that really makes your senses come alive. Your senses, any of your like seeing, hearing, touching, feeling, smelling. Oh, it's just so lovely to feel your senses alive. And it invigorates the body and it will slowly begin to bring more aliveness back when you've just made that decision and and committed to, okay, I'm going to find this. Because for me, it's had to really, you know, start slow. And and every time I renew the commitment, if I fall off the habits, every time I renew the commitment, I feel more alive and vital again. And this is what I want to join with you in. This is what I'm so excited to join with you in. Um, right now, it's the next course is in November 2023. Um, but likely there'll be more in the future, if you're listening to this podcast in the, in 2024, but if you're listening to it now, I hope you will join the circle and make the commitment to just having more enjoyment in 2024, to dropping some of the stuff that you've hung on to or, or women in your lineage have learned and hung on to. Let's just drop more of that. Let's just drop more of that and feel more freedom and aliveness and celebration and acknowledgement uh, together, recognition of each other. Um, I just can't wait to be with you in circle around that. And so I really hope you'll join me. You can either uh, book a call with me to discuss the course or come to um, uh, the next circle where we'll have a little taste and I'll, I'll talk about the more in-depth course. Regardless though, love, May you feel more freedom and vitality, and may you drop more of that stuff that so pained me of uh, never living up to it all <laughs> and feel drained by it all. Let's put an end to that. May we be more free and experience more of our own joy. Because that is you, and that is the truth in there somewhere. Sister, Mwah. Thanks for being here.